first of all go to the arm kill site and download the mdk arm once you done the download you can open the kill microvision 5 if you click on the pack installer it will uh, download uh, the package informations from the internet repository once done you need to search for tva c series because we are developing for tm4c123x series you need to click on that it will give you a keel package tm4c dfp package i already installed so it is just giving me up to date information that my package is already up to date if you don't see and you see a install button just like this in this keel tm4c dfp you should click on install and it will automatically install the package this and create a new project in the new microvision project just click on that in the tvc project folder whatever location you choose just create a new folder and name it blinky ex01 so open this and inside name your project once done you need to select the texas instrument and inside this select tva c series and from here you need to select tm4c 123 series or you can type tm4c 123 ghp gh 6 pm this is the microcontroller version which is available inside the tva 4c uh, tm4c 123 so click ok here you need to select the Kimsys core from here and from the device you need to import the startup files that's all you need from here and just click ok once done you need to click right click on the options for the target and in the debug utility you have to select this stellarize icdi if you do not have this you need to download it from a separate package from this location just add a new item from the c file and click here and main.c now you have your main.c file available one two and three so these are the red blue and green led pins of the rgb light there is one led rgb which has three pins and it is attached to fp1 fp2 and fp3 you can use these pins to program your respective led to make your code blinky first of all you need this header file to include at top of your project so just go there and paste this header file after that you can create a main function which you can use if it has to be int rather than void you can just do that and once done you can make this try to compile this you will see a lot of warnings this is because you didn't change your warning type it is you go to C C++ tab in the options and just make this more so compatible and click OK then if you try to compile it will omit all the warnings which are not required so once done you will also notice that under your source group in the main you will get a bunch of files which are tm4c123 and your microcontroller which is selected tm4c123 g at 6 pm so we have this header file included into this where we have all the definitions for our respective pins if you come back here the first tab to enable the clock source for your gpiof we can simply do that by enabling the respective uh, bit in a sys control register and this is this line will enable the clock for gpiof once done we need to set the led red green and blue as an output this is a two-step process first of all we need to enable the pins in dir register which will set the pin 1 2 and 3 as output and from the den which is digital enable register 
we will set these pins to make them function as a digital output pins because we didn't define this led red led blue and green macros we need to define them we can simply do that by this this will make our macros because we have red LED from 1, 2, and 3. And after that, we need to create a delay function. We can simply uh, make use of for loops to create a delay function, which is although not so accurate, but do, but do the thing. And after that, all you have to do is to make sure your while loop, which will continuously blink the LEDs inside the while loop what you're gonna do uh, is we are simply uh, setting the pins creating a delay loop then we resetting the pins click creating a delay loop again and then the while loop continue doing this and if we uh, try to compile this we attach our Kiva C board to uh, this and we will just press the load button it will download our code we press the reset button on and the board and it will blink over code like this so that's all for making a project in keel for dbc tm4c123g at 6 pm microcontroller and blinking an led